So now we're going to take a look at William Byron right here. I mentioned no time on the board yet, heading down into turn one. Pretty good through turn one, pretty smooth. Now we're heading towards the International Horseshoe, 180 degree right handers. We ride on board here, we can listen to the work. Easy on the throttle, now heading to that left hand kink. Sports car, this is flat out. Not flat out in the cup car. Now we're to the West Horseshoe, another 180 degree corner. And very unique to Daytona, you see that he entered to the right side of that West Horseshoe. Because of the way that they come off of that kink, it forces him over there to that, to that side. And you can still make the corner. You can still make up time by going in low right there. And uh, yeah, a difficult spot right here. Putting the power down, getting it up onto the banking. Laps looking pretty smooth so far compared to some of them that we've seen so far from. And this just comes up on you so quickly, this new chicane right here. And this is something I'm really curious about, Steve. If you look to the right of the screen, you're going to see the three marker right there and then the two marker. That's basically 300, 200, 100 feet. The drivers are going to use that all weekend long for braking. Uh, we, we should have asked Chip Wild while we had him on. Are you going to maybe go out there and move those a little bit different distances and, and play with these guys a little bit? I've been to road courses before where the sign has moved from one day to the next. I've missed my braking zones completely if that happens. Sometimes it's a maybe a styrofoam sign that's on the edge of the racetrack or something. I know Mid-Ohio had a lot of that. And now he goes down into the new turns, 13 and 14, the turn four chicane. I, I got to tell you, I can't believe that they were able to get that chicane put in and implement it as quick as they have. Uh, just a testament to everybody that's worked hard 